Hey everybody, um, I figured I would come here, make a Minecraft video, because I've seen a lot of people doing, or a lot of people like Nintendo Capri Sun, and Vash12349, and, and Cypheron, or C-Nanners, they do a lot of, they do like two or three less plays at a time sometimes, and I figured, oh, I've only got Call of Duty going right now, I can do another one, because Diablo 2 is still freaking out, and, um, figured I would... Make some Minecraft videos. Why not? So let's hit, hit it up right away. And uh, this is after the 1.21 whatever beta update. The update that just added a bunch of crap. Um, and actually, I had recorded a little bit here on World 1. And then uh, immediately after that, I found out about the update. And I was like, well, that sucks because I already rendered all that stuff. I'm not going to get much of the new stuff. So I deleted it before I figured found out that the only thing new that I wouldn't get would be um, one type of ore, and it wouldn't even, it would be, uh, it would be in the world, it would just be out of places I haven't rendered yet. And admittedly, the world was really small, so I really didn't need to delete it, but I wasn't paying attention. So we're just going to start a new world here. And hopefully I finally got my Minecraft, or my Minecraft, my microphone fixed, and uh, it's calibrated into my voice now and the loudness and whatnot, and actually if you notice that for a glitch there, or for a second it glitched and gave me a, a diamond pickaxe that was actually from my World 5, which I had just been playing. And uh, we are using the default texture pack because there's no texture pack out yet with the new new stuff in it. And you're actually going to notice these right here, and actually I don't want to pass this up so I'm going to kill them right now. These are squid. These are one of the new things that Notch added in the, in the last update. And uh... Usually they spawn in deeper water than this, so if you find them up here, you want to kill them as fast as possible. And despite the fact that they have those pretty creepy looking teeth on the back of them, they are completely passive. They will not hurt you. But uh, if you're not paying attention while you're killing these guys, you may drown. Because they do spawn uh, really far underwater. And that's usually the only places they spawn. Um, and actually, we spawned near one of my f absolute favorite things ever for base defense. Especially when you're just starting out, which is cactus. Cactus, um... Wait, hold on a second, I gotta check my difficulty. Yeah, I'm on normal, okay. Um... Where was I? Cactus, right. Cactus uh, will hurt anything that walks into them. And if it's weak enough, it will kill it. Um... And one of the reasons I love cactus is because you can make a maze out of them and mobs are too stupid to go through the maze correctly, and they will get killed easily by it, and oh my god, is this clay? No, nope, that's stone. That'd be amazing if that was clay this close to our spawn point. Whoa, what's this? Just a little underground lake. Right ne or it's not even really underground, it's like beach level. Now this... This looks interesting. Oh look, actually, there's coal right here. That's really nice. But, um, before we can get coal, we do need to go find some trees and knock them over with our hands, or, in this case, our ink sack. And, no. man, my skin just does not want to work today. Like, it's been turning on and off all day. Whenever I do... Whoa! Well... I know where our base is going. <laughs> oh, is that that's floating sand. Check it out, floating sand. Check this out. This is oh, I fell. This is always fun to do. Whenever you find, ugh, come on, where do you find floating sand? Just kind of floating here randomly. Destroy one block, and it'll all come tumbling down. It's always fun. Oh, here's another thing that's kind of cool. You can do now. You can take sand. Put it like that, you can make sandstone. Sandstone uh, is basically sand, except it's just supported by gravity. Or, it doesn't, it is not affected by gravity anymore. Unlike normal sand. Um, let's actually get out of this hole, because there's no trees down there. There's one tree really far over there. Oh yeah, uh, here, you might notice this. This is uh, also new. This is a different type of tree. Uh, it has different... Uh, it has its own look. It has its own special item, so it retains its look until you change it into wood planks. But other than that, it's the exact same as anything else. 
or is it the other wood? And we're just gonna harvest a couple trees worth. I could swear I just heard a spider. That sound right there, that's a spider. I don't know where that's coming from. Where the hell is that coming from? It must be underground. Like right underneath our feet. Oh, don't want to do that. Huh. I don't know. I'm going to get the rest of this tree, though. Or this other tree. Which I suppose is actually the same tree because they are connected. point it's pretty slow gathering wood because we're only we only have really have our hands and items which are the same effect as our hands but uh pretty soon actually now we have 13 wood i think that's good let's head over to that lava to make our our to start making our base whoa um can i make i can make this yeah okay that's a really easy way to get off of a really tall hill there's water underneath. And actually, I'm going to go get those flowers. Just because now, uh, if you've played Minecraft before but haven't been playing it lately, you're probably like, flowers, there's no point in getting flowers. Well, you'd be wrong. And I will show you why in just a little, in just a few seconds. But if you do know why I'm getting these flowers, in other words, you've played Minecraft lately, or at least looked at the Minecraft wiki lately, uh, you already know what I'm doing. And I just can't resist this. Nope. Get in the freaking lava. Damn it. Congratulations, you just volunteered, Mr. Cow. Nope, come back here. Go that way. No, come back here. Screw you. <laughs> oh, that would have been so great. Just push a cow into some lava. That would be nice. Anyway, let's try and get in here without killing ourselves. Shall we? going to have to do this. Oh. I should probably explain some of the crafting in this game, shouldn't I? Ooh, excuse me. Well, um, when you craft, you basically have to want to draw out what you want to make. Like, uh, if you notice, I put two sticks and then two and then three material blocks. And it would be like a handle and then and then the blade of the tool or whatever. That would be like how you make tools. And uh, you basically do that for any kind of thing you want. That's a little random right there. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something about tools. This is actually really cool. There's random sand mountain over there. You can see it kind of. Um, I'm actually heading back to where we spawned, because if you remember, there was coal inside a little hole that we uncovered. And it was more towards this way, and yes, I see that pig over there. I see those pigs up there. Cheap. Oh, here, I'll just show you this right now. Um, when you take flowers, you can turn them into dyes now. Or, you can take this and turn them into stuff. And one of the cool things you can do with this is, oh, well, um... You might be thinking, well, dyes, that's kind of interesting. What can you dye with it? And, uh, if you remember back from the beginning of Minecraft, there were 15 colored pieces of wool. 15 different colors. And Notch has re-added some of them back into the game. You notice I just turned this sheep red. And now if I hit him, it comes out with two wool. If I had just taken the wool from him, um, they would have come out as probably white. You might have gotten light, might get light gray. It's not very likely that you will. But, um... But, uh, 
if you dye the sheep the color, you have a better chance of getting more. Because if you were to do it with just the normal white wool, you would just get, like, one. And actually, I think, once you dye it one color, you can dye it another. No, you can't. Never mind, you can't. Now it says red wool. And I will show you other stuff you can do with that as well. Um, where was that cave? People that saw the video are probably screaming at me right now where it is. Like, it's right there. You what, are you blind? There it is. Yay. Thing is, this sand's gonna fall. <laughs> if I'm not extremely careful. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of coal. Yep, there we go. There goes the sand. There's a lot of coal. That's a good thing. You may notice I built this pickaxe out of wood. It's not the best thing ever that you can make it out of. But it is, actually, it's the the absolute worst thing you can make it out of. But, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing to make it out of, because, uh... Well, because wood is the only thing you have access to at the beginning. And actually, I'm going to mine up some of this stone. You notice the stone goes a lot faster than the coal, because, well, coal's hard to mine. Because it's an ore. Unlike stone. I'm actually going to keep going until this pickaxe. Never mind, I'm going to get this last one and then head out. Because you notice the light level changed, that's because it's becoming nighttime. And how the crap am I going to get out of here? Just like that. <sighs> Let's get back to our little lava hideout, shall we? Flowers. Shut up, sheep, I already got your wool. And, um... Anyway, you may have noticed uh, when we killed the squid, uh, we picked the two squid, we picked up two ink sacks. Well, that's also a very new item, and if you use it correctly, you can make uh, black and gray, and I also believe light gray, dyes for sheep's wool. So that's pretty cool. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? With that stone, cobblestone, I'm going to make stick, make... I want to make sticks. No, I'm going to make a stone pickaxe, and then I'm going to make torches out of the coal. Some of the coal, anyway. And I'm going to break down the workbench, because I'm just going to take it with me. And then we are going to hide next to the lava, because we're legit like that. And lava obeys us, apparently. I don't know. I think it'd be funny if the lava just, like, set me on fire. I don't know why. Just because I said it obeys us. And I'm being very careful. And now, if anything over there sees us, it's not going to be smart enough to come, come all the way around. It's just going to jump straight into the lava trying to get to us. And, well, lava is not good for your health. <laughs> Whether you're a human, a mob, or a chicken. I don't know why chickens. And actually, we just found some coal, so we could have saved us a lot of time if we just kept doing this with the wood pickaxe. But... We got a lot of coal anyway, so that doesn't matter. Well, not a lot, but, you know, enough to survive. And one of the things that about building this close to lava is, uh... What was I saying? Something about lava. Oh, yeah. Um, we don't want to put wood on the exterior of our base, because, well, lava... Here, I'll show you real quick. Here, you see that little spark that came... Yeah, those the little sparks that come flying out? If those touch anything flammable, it'll catch fire. Um, like, for example, wood. Wood is very flammable. And, uh... It's just not good for business to set yourself on fire. That's not good. Oh, God. Okay, so we're gonna leave that last coal alone, because it's right on the edge of the fire. Um... Or edge of the lava. And you can actually see where we put that dirt right there. Well, if we ever want to make something out of lava, we've got some. Let's expand this way, shall we? I just want to use up the rest of this wood pickaxe real quick. And uh, I will. And also, building this close to lava does have its advantages, as for a little while, at the very least, um, while I'm building, I won't need torches to light up my bu my building. Because, well, lava gives off level 15 light, which is the same strength as the sun.